There's something going on in the self-improvement space and you need to know about this. All of this begins with the start of your self-improvement journey. I still remember vividly. I was a 17 year old kid that just knew I'm not going the standard route. These people that I see working nine to fives, they don't seem happy. I need to do something else. I had no idea how to do it. So I picked up the first self-development book I could find and it was how to win friends and influence people. I was reading this book and I was so excited. Would go to my uh, university classes and apply those techniques on my fellow students. And seeing their eyes light up awakened something in me. The same thing that has been awakened in you when your self-improvement journey started, which is, holy shit, I can learn how to become better. Your first time reading Think and Grow Rich or those old school pickup artist videos that you watched, the podcast that cracked you open, whatever did it for you, it was this one piece of wisdom, right, that opened something in you that said, I can influence the world. I can become better as a man. That moment marked the start of your self-improvement journey and your hero's journey, but these two are not the same. Because let's get real here. You used to feel this excitement, right? When you were consistent in the gym, when you just started meditating, when you read your first couple of books, you couldn't shut up about it. You were talking to it with your friends. I still remember when I was on seam retention and I was meeting girls and the topic hit seam retention, I was proud to describe it. I was proud to describe that I was built different, right? But then that moment came, right? Where something changed and now you're doing the work in silence. It's no longer are you talking about this podcast, the books you read, those routines that once made you feel proud now just became normal. When you touched that first book, when you had that first heartbreak, when you had that one piece of advice that changed everything, that set you on this self-improvement journey. For you, for this self-improver, there is a moment, a painful moment coming where you really Realize that self-improvement isn't enough, that it isn't the thing itself. Days where you do all the routines and all the things, you cross them off on your notion list and yet you're left with this emptiness at the end of the day. Hey, but I approached five girls, I sharpened my jawline, I raised my testosterone levels, went to the gym. How is this possible? That's because it doesn't fucking matter. Yes, these things are interesting. Yes, these things can be important in the right context and yet by themselves they are meaningless. I'm going to share with you three pillars that literally make or break your life as a man. And this is whether you realize it or not, it's the reason why you got on self-improvement to begin with. And we need to zoom out and connect with it. Because if the self-improver neglects even one of these pillars, then you will be left with an emptiness that, that makes everything you do a mirage. I'm aware that this video is gonna frustrate some of you and I'll take it, that's okay. For the ones willing to take action though, in this video I created a resource that coaches will usually charge you for. You can simply download it for free. You don't even have to put in your email because that's how important this leap is and I wanna see you win. That's it. I'm fired up, so let's get into this. Okay, so let's get fucking real here. What does actually matter to us is three pillars. And let me ask you, if you were to live a life right now where you have an impact on the world around you, you are entirely free to live and work however you want, and all of that work feels like absolute play to you. Would you agree then most of the other things, your testosterone levels, your success with women, and all these other subjects that men are focusing on right now, that these would fall into their place by itself. Impact, freedom, and passion. The hero's journey that your self-improvement journey started is about getting those three pillars set up in your life. It is our fight to be of impact, to be free and to love every second of what we're building and what we're doing. That is what we're striving towards. That's why we got on this self-improvement journey to begin with. But self-improvement for most men becomes this obsessive thing that we're gonna be focusing on that now has become the new distraction. So where it used to be video games and porn distracting you from getting on self-improvement, now it's self-improvement preventing you from creating and building, getting these pillars right pose the classic challenges that all of our men are talking about. Number one, if we want a life of impact, we must find our purpose, resources and vision, connect to it and then build on it. 
If not, we will get assigned a purpose. Second, if we want a life of freedom, we must successfully monetize that which we built. If not, we have to sell our time and we will never be free. And third, if we want a life of passion, we must keep growing as a man. If not, we won't be there to enjoy any of it. The change of focus between your self-improvement and you creating those three pillars is the leap ahead of you that most men will never make. That is the harsh reality. When you are gone, nobody is going to say, oh, that man got a nice cold exposure routine going there. He was walking with his bare feet on the grass like an absolute animal. That guy's testosterone levels, 950, absolutely insane. Nobody's going to say that, let alone think it. It doesn't matter by itself. Your self-improvement, rather, is the creative work that empowers you as a creator. Martial arts, the gym, your interactions with women are experiences that blow life into you, inspire and empower you as a creator, as a builder. Actual creator work is every action directed towards building these three pillars, and it is very much a spiritual fight against normalcy. What that means is that if you don't exert this energy, if you don't work on these three pillars with absolute force, then you will be assigned a job because you need to pay rent. Then you will be assigned a girlfriend because you work and live in a certain place. So it's a spiritual, mental, physical fight to become the creator. Personally know the pain of this because I've been in all three of these buckets. You're making good money, but your heart isn't in it. You're not impacting the world. And so you got this emptiness. Second, you know how to impact the world. You have a plan, but you're not making money with it. And third, you don't know how to impact the world, nor how to make money with it. And I know how painful that is. If that's you right now, keep watching. We're going to get through this. Now listen carefully. If any of these three is true for you, then consuming self-improvement material Spending time on these self-improvement practices is scamming you where you stand. I mean it. All your attention and love and energy has to go into making the leap from self-improver to creator. That's it. To go all in and burn the fucking ships to the ground, leave no way out for you to escape. To solve the problem before it's too late and you lose the spiritual battle against normalcy. You must go from counting semen retention streaks to counting streaks of quiet weekends with you and the work from learning about looks maxing and sharpening your fucking jawline i say that with love to learning about selling persuasion writing branding content creation the skills of the current landscape where video games weed and porn used to distract you from your self-improvement now it is you being distracted by the thing that got you out of it and that's what makes it so painful to realize that self-improvement by itself isn't going to get you there that currently it's distracting you watching all these youtube videos learning about microplastics your testosterone levels. Dude, you will find your time. You will find your peace when that's gonna matter. But it doesn't right now. It just doesn't. I know this because I've been in all three situations. I was making incredible money trading CFDs in the crypto market. But this mindless chase for riches crumbled me down. When I started coaching, I focused on impact. And I was finding great impact in my coaching, but I was fucking poor. I couldn't even continue delivering that impact because I wasn't making money. I wasn't running a business. And most painfully, I've been addicted to video games and weed to an extreme degree as I was lost, as I didn't know how to apply my resources and purpose, what to do in life. I had no idea where to start. And I didn't get these three pillars right in my life, not before I told my friends, guys, it's gonna be quiet weekends for me. I have to do this. I even had to pause Brazilian Jiu Jitsu for a while as it was taking time away from me creating, knowing that this passion of mine stays exactly where it is. And I switched consuming self-improvement content and YouTube videos to relentless studying of the skills I needed to make it work. If you are here as a man and likely as a self-improver, you are here to live an exceptional life of impact, freedom, and passion. 
And if that's the case, you have to make the leap from self-improvement to creator right now. This is how you do it. First, we have to understand that the way we create as men is dependent on the time and place where we live. We live in a digital world. We can be sore about it, but we can change it. Building and creating as a man looks fundamentally different than it did in 1960. Currently, eyeballs and attention is the currency. Currency that makes the digital economy go around. That's the truth. Creating as a modern man means taking control over your own distribution, building an audience, by sharing your skills, experiences, and character online. To start impacting other people's lives rather than to consume their content. To stop being an observer in this digital world and to start building and creating your own tribe in this digital game. I know this might make you uncomfortable, but listen. If you are tired of being pulled in every direction by the hormoses and imangajis of this world, feeling like a play ball, being sold from left to right, controlled in a way, this is where you look. And even more so, instead of buying their shit, to play the game that they're playing. That is what the modern male creator does. Creates his own audience and monetizes it by solving their painful problems. So if you want to go from observer to creator, from self-improver who's scoring imaginary masculinity points to a man who actually builds passion, freedom and impact, then you must become the creator and so you must play the same game. I'm gonna tell you everything you need to know. It doesn't matter whether you're already making money passionately or you're not making any money and you don't know what to do. It doesn't matter because this applies to every male self-improver, every ambitious man in the world right now. You need to start to play the digital game. And I know this might make you uncomfortable, but you can either continue to refuse it and be filled with regret in five to 10 years, or you embrace it, take action and build a life of impact and freedom. Why? Because creating content gives you access to infinite leverage for free. We have never lived in a time before because we have four types of leverage, uh, remember? We have capital and labor which require permission. They have an access barrier. And then we have code and content. You can access code and content for free and it gives you infinite leverage. Not everybody wants to be a coder, I understand, but content is right there for you to start using today. Let me tell you why this is not too good to be true, why this is perfectly reasonable. That's because people are scared shitless to get in front of a camera and start talking. Fear of rejection is the reason why this opportunity still exists. Your competition is people that don't want to get out of their comfort zone. And so they will stay observers as we continue to develop into this digital world. And here's even better news. The internet is changing. People no longer want this high production, fake bullshit. They want a person talking to them authentically and to just be real with them for once in this noisy, fake internet world. This is how the YouTube landscape first and then the other ones will follow is currently changing. So you can literally pick up your great phone or if you have a potato, you can film with a fucking potato and you can start filming speaking from the heart about something you're expert at with your story, with your character, with your humor, with your mannerisms, with your passions, with everything that defines you, have a tribe out there in the world that is waiting for you to start opening your mouth. So let's make this even more clear and practical for you. What does it mean to be a male creator? It means one, you turn your creativity into value and publish it online for free. Second, that value delivered in your unique way, attracts your tribe. And then third, as you attract your tribe, you start solving their painful problems through digital services and products. And consider this, all three steps are completely unique to you and how you like to do things. This isn't the next new hot business model. This is currently where the world is moving. Online education helps people live, work as they want. And this is going to continue more and more and more as we can see the e-learning industry is going from 300 billion to 1.1 trillion in the next six years. So let's continue and clarify everything. What does value mean in your personal context? Category number one is experience. This is the problems you have solved, which can solve problems 
for others. Number two is skills. Skills you naturally developed or that you have learned in your life. Skills can improve things that have already been built in the world or skills can be taught as a whole to other people. Number three, character. This is your traits, your story. This is your values, your vision, your mannerisms, your humor will in the online game naturally position you. You are essentially the market creating your own tribe. And number four is the passion that lives within you. These passions, when explored and expressed, naturally turn into persuasion and drives you forward past competitors. What is played to you is work to them. And then lastly is the purpose that lives within you. It is the problems that mean a lot to you. The things that you want to see in the world, you possess these five forms of value. Whether you think lowly or highly of yourself, I can tell you that you can solve painful problems right now. And that is just a matter of you finding your tribe. Essentially what you do as the creator is, is take all these five categories of value, you turn them into one cohesive creator business. Currently the digital game is ran by the self-improvers. This field is dominated by the self-improvers. It's the skill of synthesizing, right? Synthesizing means to combine existing elements to create something of massive new value. Currently in this noisy internet world, we are drowning in information, starving for wisdom. Hence, it is the synthesizers that will run the world. Those who put the right information together at the right time. Let's take, let's take Alex Ormosi for example. He solved a valuable problem for himself to launch a gym. And then he simply started to teach that skill. For the rest of his career, that cycle of synthesizing is what he has continued to do with more valuable and important problems as he continued to grow and gather more of an audience. That's how the game works. And as a self-improver, you have the synthesizer muscle. That is a fact. You have been doing this already for a long time. You have been learning, growing, philosophizing, applying all of it to solve problems for yourself so that gave you skills and experience and I can go on for a long time. You have the synthesizer muscle and so you are at an unfair advantage. You already know how it works. Now, if you're at this point feeling this fear of getting in front of the camera, let me tell you this. In 10 years, there won't be any resumes anymore. I can stick my hand in the fire for it. The only thing that will be there is someone's online presence. What, what is your track record in the digital game? You can still get ahead at this moment by simply paying one price and that is your silly fear of rejection that you will find in approaching women or doing anything else, anything impressive at all. It is your fear of rejection that is stopping you from making the leap from self-improvement to creator. So because this is, of course, incredibly important, I've created a challenge for you. And that challenge goes with a full guide and it is the very system I'm currently using to write my content. You can just copy it. And the challenge goes as follows. To write three mini essays about valuable ideas that you can share with the world. And yes, these ideas live within you because you've lived a life already. You cannot tell me that you have nothing to share. To write small essays about an idea that you're going to launch into the world is an incredible way of creating very good content because you will correctly explore the idea itself and really find all the pieces of value within it. On top of that, you'll learn how to be a better writer and how to sort your thoughts. So step one would be the pre-writing process, which means what are you gonna write about? And so let me tell you, whether you create a blog post or a YouTube video, your goal is to meet an unmet desire. Unmet means low supply, desire means high demand. People do anything to meet desires. So if you can meet a desire with your video, you have your first true fan that will time his clock to watch your videos every single time. You ask yourself these three questions. What is the ID? What is the unmet desire? And is there an experience or a story that goes along with this to make it more personal? If you can answer yes to these three questions, then go ahead and write your mini essay. You do so by following step two. Personally, I use Obsidian because it, it's just an amazing writing tool and it doesn't require internet. Uh, but Notion and Google Docs are just as good 
just choose a software where you will start creating your personal ID vault that can at any point become a newsletter or a blog post or whatever. This is gonna be incredibly valuable for you. And then you follow this framework, hook, frame, curiosity gap, main, and then end high. I will go through this quickly just to set you up, okay? So your hook starts with either you opening the story or you having a standard hook, which is literally create intrigue by using words. So your intellect is killing your attraction with women. It makes people pay attention and that is your only job if you're going for the standard hook. If you're opening with a story, then you need to describe what is the intention of the, the character in that story and what is the obstacle he's walking into and then also to describe the stakes, right? Stakes literally is why does this matter? Why is this important? For example, this person wanted to go here, intention, but he ran into obstacle and this is why it mattered to him. When people hear the opening of a story, they usually want or even need to hear the ending. Second is to frame it. So the ID that you've opened with your hook, you have to now frame it in a matter of pain or desire. Nobody will watch your videos if they're not emotionally invested. They need to know why this hurts or why this is the desire that they're after. For example, having your intellect ruin your dating life hurts because you are longing for love. And then the third part of your introduction is the curiosity gap. Making a promise about the reward that they will get if they watch this video. And no, you're not scamming them here. You're actually gonna over deliver on this promise but you need to open a curiosity gap here to entice them to watch the video very simple then the fourth part is of course you delivering on that promise and if you can over deliver always over deliver and then lastly very important to make sure that you end high people never remember what you said or how you said it they remember how you made them feel so end high with a rush of energy or an extra piece of value or something that creates a contrast something that creates this high at the end to leave them with and then you've written your first draft and then step three is to sharpen the blade and you can do that with the 7q framework this is a checklist that i can tell you every content creator on youtube is using they want to answer these seven questions before publishing any video if you can get these seven questions right there is absolutely no chance that your video will not blow up of course the challenge is to get them all right this is your handle to hold on to a checklist for you to make sure you're releasing a good video step four is filming People don't care about pixels, they care about unmet desires. If your quality isn't that great, but you're meeting an unmet desire in your video, people will not care. There's an example of Sam Sulek, right? Who literally films his videos on his phone and leaves silences driving in his car of four or five seconds. This guy blew up and he's not the only one. People want authenticity. And then lastly, step five, edit and publish. This is not important for you. The goal of this challenge is for you to crush that fear and get your first three videos out there. Three written essays turned into videos that you share with the world to crush your fear. I'm just giving you this guide for you to improve in the coming weeks and months after this. Editing and publishing is the 80-20, right? It is the, it's gonna be a lot of work to just make it little heaps better at the end, right? But for you, you want to focus on the 20-80, right? 20% of the work you're doing that gets 80% of the results is you writing a good script and speaking in front of a camera with passion. And you got the steps to do that exactly. But still in the resource, I provided you with some tools that can help you with basic level SEO and that can help you start editing for free. And there you go. This is your way to do it. That can help you surpass 99% of creators on YouTube in a matter of weeks. And I mean that. So how you conduct yourself going forward is truly up to you. I hope that you are part of the action takers. I hope that your observing days, those observer self-improver days are over and that you understand where the world is moving and that you use this resource to actually make it happen. I'm not asking anything from you, not even your email address, just asking your courage because I just know how important this is. Write those essays and let the world know that you're out there. All right, man, I hope you enjoyed that video. In this video, I provided you with the steps to do it by yourself. Often a lot of you want some more guidance instead of paying a coaching program between five and 10K. And I'm not even kidding, I bought these myself. You can get access to all that information 
for less than a cheap concert ticket. You'll get a lot more than that, right? We're building a movement here of male creators. And in July, we're even meeting up and working together. This is going to be massive. It's going to be exciting. And you have a chance to get in right now as one of the first 30 or 40, I think, uh, at this price. Afterwards, we'll close and we have our core group. And then we will reopen with two or three times the price. So if this connects to you, right, then you can come do all of that together with us in the community and learn everything you need to learn to not only build your audience, but also to monetize it, to make a high online income in a matter of months. And just click the link and you'll learn a little bit more about it and make your decision there if you're going to be one of the first 30 to join. If so, I'm excited to meet you on the personal calls or even uh, in person in one of these monk modes that we will be doing uh, starting in July. And uh, yeah, man, with that, take good care of yourself.